My name is Marika. I usually teach at um, New York Studios. Hi, Alexandra. Hey, um, I'm currently in Japan. It's Monday morning. I think for most of you, it's evening. So if you want to put candle on or dimmer light, do it. Um, I won't be playing any music on my end, but if you want music to accompany your practice, why not turn it on? Um, you guys are going to be on mute, but if you keep turn your camera on i would love it so that i can see you i can give you some personal cheers and adjustment but if you want to keep it off no problem all right it is 802 um here for me uh, let's get it started all right i'm gonna mute everybody just in case okay cool all right we almost have 30 people. I'm so excited. We always start in child's pose. So please come to the back side of our mat. Toes together to touch. Hips over your heels. Knees could be together to uh, touch or it could be separate wide. Fold your upper body forward to bring your forehead down on the mat. Maybe also your tip of your nose touching the mat. Your arms could be resting long in front of you, palms facing down, or it could be resting long by your side, palms facing up. Wherever you chose your arms to be resting, allow your elbows to touch the mat. Close your eyes and start to deepen your breath by consciously breathing in through your nose, Feel the air coming in, stretching your lungs open. And exhale out completely until there's nothing more to come out. Inhale slow through your nose. Exhale out through your nose or through your mouth. The next 55, 58 minutes or so, it's all about you. This is your practice. This is an open level, so that means if you need to adjust or modify, you get to do that. You also get to intensify or go further if you know what's out there or if you're capable. Allow yourself to work hard whenever you can. Allow yourself to rest whenever you need it. This child's pose is there for you whenever you need it. You don't need my permission. Thanks for turning your camera on, guy. First, I would love to share this beautiful um, quote, this words shared by our senior teachers, Haven. Your life needs you. Stay present. Stay committed. Show up on your mat every day because that is a safe, structured, simple place where you move, breathe, and feel with your whole heart and being. It's like a muscle. You've got to exercise your muscle of heart and being to become in tune with your vision and desires. When you're intuitive, you're open to possibilities and anchored in the knowledge that you have power over what happens in your life. Suddenly it may seem when you're grounded, there are many more ways of accomplishing what you want. Step onto your mat. Now you're on a mat. Let's start with a vibrational breath. Please start to push all the air out with an S H. Get empty, complete your exhale. Slow breath in through your nose. Hold it at the top gently. Now mouth open, H A ha. Followed by another smooth and big inhale. Maybe take another sip at the very top. Hum it out, H-M. Hmm. H-A, ha, or hmm, or even a flatter out of your lips. You get to explore whenever you want. Unfortunately, I don't get to see you, but maybe that means you get to be loud with those vibrational breaths. It'll help you to calm down your body and your mind. Keep your forehead heavy. Start to crawl your fingers towards the front edge of the mat. Spread your fingers wide. Press your hands down heavy. 
Now send your hips more back and down towards your heels or towards the mat so that you can feel the stretch in your spine, under your armpit or entire torso. Make sure you're still breathing. Now you can start to sway your hips side to side or perhaps starting with rocking your forehead side to side. Or maybe you combine both of them. Just let it be gentle and easy. No need to force yourself into anything. Nice. Hi, Nina. <laughs> now slowly come back to the center. Inhale, lift your hips up, chest up to come to your first tabletop position. Stack your hands underneath your shoulders. Stack your knees right underneath your hips. Let's move through some cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, tilt your hips up, send your collarbone forward and up, look up, chin up. Exhale, pull your belly in towards the spine. Curl your spine, tuck your chin, lift the backside of your heart up. Nice, David. Inhale, slow, belly drop. Tilt your hips up, chest up, stretch the front side of your body. Exhale, slow. Cat tilt, keep going. Your first one breath, one movement. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Now, rat, instead of speeding up your breathing or your movement, think about doing the opposite. Slow it down. If you want to flip your palms, if you'll do, uh, do the wrist stretching, go ahead. Or if you want to wiggle your shoulders or your neck, jump roping your spine, go ahead. Move in a way that feels good. Nice, lots of great movement, great choices. Nice. Now, if you flip your palms, point your hands, fingers forward. Find a neutral and long spine. Now look a little bit forward. Inhale, slide your right foot back. Keep uh, flexing your right toes. Now slowly bring your right toes down and then reach your right hand all the way up. Plant your right foot heavy on the mat for assisted side plank. Now instead of collapsing onto your left shoulder, press your left hand down to lift your right shoulder up and back, reaching your fingertips all the way up. Now you can reach your right hand forward, palms facing down, for extended uh, assisted side plank. Feel the stretch, breathe into the right side of your body. Slowly bring your right hand down, right knee down. From here, kick your left foot back, feel the stretch in the back side of your left leg. Bring your left toes down. When you're ready, reach your left arm all the way up. If you have a hard time balancing, you can bring your right foot a little bit out. Look up towards the ceiling to the best you can. Widen your shoulders. Keep both sides of your torso long. Look up, reach up. Maybe you reach your left arm forward. Plant your left foot heavy. Reach your left fingertips away from it. One more inhale to stretch open. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Left knee down. Move your cat and cow a few times to reset in the way. When you are ready, tuck both of your toes under, plant heavy into your both hands and lift your hips all the way up and back to come to your first downward facing dog. Now, instead of cleaning up right away, allow yourself to move around. Pedal out your feet, maybe shaking your head no, nodding your head yes. There you go. If you want to curl your spine so much like cat spine and pushing your chest into your thighs, maybe that feels good too. Cool. Beautiful, guys. Let's clean it up together. Check your hands. Hands are about your shoulders width apart. Spread your fingers wide. Press it down. Now try to even out your weight so that you're not putting all your weight into your wrist. Wrap your armpits inward. Keep your arms straight. Now look into your feet. Feet are about your hips width apart. Can you hide your heels behind your toes? Bend your knees a little bit more and see if you can tilt your hips more up and back. Aiden, can you bring your chest a little bit closer to your thighs? That's it. 
Now keep your spine long and see if you can squeeze your legs a little bit straighter. Press the air out, SH. Inhale, slow. Lift your hip, tailbone all the way up. H A HA. Look forward in between your hands. Bend your knees. Take many, many steps to come to the front side of your mat. For your forward fold. Nice hop, Joseph. Now move around. You can shake your head no, shake your head yes, or maybe grab onto the opposite side of your elbows to sway side to side. Or maybe you do some cha-cha dance with your torso. <laughs> maybe give yourself some bounce. Maybe you interlace your fingers behind your shoulders. Maybe that feels good. Yeah, notice what kind of movement feels good here. Not to judge, but to notice. Drop your hands heavy. Check your feet. Your feet are about your hips width apart, meaning that's like six to eight inches apart. Maybe you can measure it out by putting two fists right in between. Make sure outer edges side of your feet parallel to one another. Nice. Drop your hands. Inhale. Half lift. Lift your shoulders in line with your hips. You can slide your hands up your shins or maybe above your knee. Now keep sending your weight into your toes by leading your chest forward, but keep pulling your shoulders away from your ears. So you're flattening flatten out this space right behind your heart. So that if I put a mug on your back, it's not going to fall. It's going to stay. Nice, Saki. Make sure you're circulating your breath. One more inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, drop it down. Forward, fold. Let it go. Nice. Let's do that one more time, but a little bit swiftly. Inhale, half lift, long spine, belly in. Exhale, drop it down, forward, fold, that's it. Keep your feet where they are. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Come to standing on your two feet, arms reaching up high, palms facing in for your extended mountain pose. And close your eyes. Standing is something we do all the time, but how does it feel to be standing on your two feet inside of where you, wherever you are. What is going on in the inside? What are you feeling in your body? Now, no need to try to notice so many things at once. Let's break it down, make it simple. Check in with your feet. How does it feel? Can you feel the texture of the mat? Maybe you allow yourself to sway side to side to find a comfortable place in the middle, wherever that is. Now plant your feet heavy. Squeeze your legs straight. Maybe you can lift your kneecap a little bit up. Point your tailbone down, pull your belly in. Maybe you can lift your heart a little bit higher. Rotate your pinkies a little bit inwards so that you can rest your shoulders long behind you. Activate even your fingertips. Fill up the shape with your breath. Open up your eyes. Slowly look up towards the ceiling or your sky. Stand your heels heavy, inhale to reach all the way up, reach up, reach back by sending your hips forward. Exhale to come all the way down, forward fold, let it go. Beautiful. Let's connect it with your breath. Inhale, reach your arms up, stand tall, reach up, reach back maybe. With your exhale, come all the way down. Nice, keep going, keep moving. One breath, one movement. Move through this extended mountain pose into the gentle back bend on your own. No need to count. Just listen to your breath to move through your breath. Let your inhale be full. Let your exhale to complete. Maybe you change up the rhythm if you feel like it. Take your last mountain pose on your own. Inhale to reach up, stand tall, reach up, reach back, stretch your front side body, open, exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, half lift, long spine, flat back sensation. Exhale, come all the way down, forward fold. Beautiful, plant your hands underneath your body, step your feet all the way back to your upper pushing plank. Nice, maybe you have to adjust your feet or your hands. Now, without moving your hands or your toes, send your hips all the way up and back, downward facing dog. 
See how that feels. Nice. Bring your chest towards your thighs. Tilt your hips all the way up. Inhale, slide your right foot back halfway. Keep pointing your toes down. Rotate your right hip a little bit down. Beautiful adjustment, Alexandra. Feel the stretch in both sides, both of your legs. Just keep sending your right foot all the way up, 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 up. Open up your hips, move around. Maybe bending your knee, rotating your ankle, or maybe rotating at your hip socket. If the space allows you and feels like it, maybe you flip your dog. Cute dog, Nina. <laughs> nice, Charlie. When you're ready, inhale, kick your right foot all the way up high. Slowly bring your right foot down on the mat. With our next inhale, slide your left foot back and up. Halfway, square your hips, meaning both hips same distance away from the floor. Feel the stretch behind your legs, behind your calves. Send your left foot all the way up high. Move around. Now, of course, you're going to feel differently on this side because our body is so beautifully asymmetrical. Maybe you have to be easy with some sort of movement. Maybe do something different. Nice, Aiden. When you're ready, inhale, slide your left foot all the way up high. Slowly bring your left toes down on the mat. Let's reconnect with your breath. Press the air out, SH. Shh. Inhale, tilt your hips all the way up high. Exhale, H A. Ha. Inhale, slide your right foot all the way up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, shoulders over your wrist, pull it in tight. Inhale, slide your right foot up and back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Think about cat spine. Contract your belly in. Inhale, slide your right foot back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Keep your hips lifted up high. Slowly, quietly step your right foot down. When you're ready, drop your left knee down on the mat. Untuck your back toes. Just let your head hang heavy. Maybe wiggle your hips to assess this moment. Check in with your hips. What feels good? Do you need to adjust something? If your knee hurts, maybe you double up, fold the side of your mat to double up. Nice. When you're ready, lift your chest up. Maybe you interlace your fingers on your right knee. That's a good choice. Drop your right left knee. Nice. Or you can bring your hands to your lower back, gathering your elbows all the way back. Or maybe you reach your arms up and grabbing onto the opposite side of our elbows and rest your head back. Whatever feels good, whatever serves you in this moment. The placement of your arms is not really that important. Sink your hips heavy. Inhale, reach both of your arms up. Reach up, reach back. Exhale, bring both of your hands down. Tuck your left toe, step your right foot back to down dog. Nice. Let's do the left side. Inhale, slide your left foot all the way up high. Knee to your nose, shoulders over your wrists. Pull it in tight. Inhale, kick your left foot back and up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Really do your best to really touch your nose. Inhale, slide your left foot back. Contract your belly, knee to your nose. Stay there. Three, two, one. Quietly step your left foot forward. When you're ready, drop your right knee down, untuck your right toes, and maybe wiggle your hips. Maybe adjust the placement of your left foot or your right knee. When you're ready, chest up, hands to your knee, or maybe you choose different place for this side. If you wanna reach your hands back to trying to touch the floor behind you, you can do that too. Make sure you are breathing, slow breath in, Slow breath out, sink your hips low as you lift your chest up and back. Keep your hips low, inhale, reach both of your arms up, reach up, reach back. Exhale, bring both of your hands down, tuck your right toes, step your left foot back to down dog. Beautiful. From down dog, bring your chest forward and over your hands to come to your upper pushing plank. 
Now lift your heels all the way up high. The tendency is to kick your heels all the way back. No, lift it up and keep it up, stack it on top of your toes. Instead of jumping your hips, lift it up in line with your shoulders by using your core strength. If you're looking to the middle of your mat, look a little bit forward, keep your neck long. We're gonna set up for the flow. If this is too much, you can always bring your knees down. From upper pushing plan, bring your chest forward a little bit. Exhale, come down halfway, hug your rib cage with your elbows. Inhale, untuck your toes, lift your chest forward and up. Drop your shoulders down, keep your knees off the mat. Up dog, exhale, tuck your toes, send your hips all the way up high, back to down dog. That is your flow. Press all the stale air out, S-H. Inhale, slow and fully. Relax your jaw, open mouth, H A. Ha. Nice, inhale, reach your right foot up and back. Knee to your nose. Slowly, quietly step your right foot where your right thumb is. Now rotate your left heel down on the mat. Squeeze your left foot, left leg straight. Now really press into both of your feet. If you want to adjust your stance, maybe right foot a little bit out, or maybe taking a longer, shorter stance, now is the time to do so. Plant into both of your feet. Inhale, reach both of your arms up to come to your warrior one. Beautiful. Sink low into your lunge right away. That's it, Catherine. Plant into the outer edge side of her left foot. Squeeze your left leg straight to assist your left hip to come a little bit forward. Maybe you can invite your right hip to drive a little bit back to square your hips towards the front side of our mat. Or maybe that's just an idea. Sink your hips low, heart lifted and open, arms reaching up high. Activate your fingertips. Be really, really intentional with whatever you do. Sink your hips low. Start to reach your hands forward, down and back. Bend your elbows, interlace your fingers. Stay low through your lunge. Push your uh, fist back and down. Maybe lift your chest up, look up. Exhale, tuck your chin, slowly round down from your upper spine, middle spine, to bring your shoulders inside of your right knee. Pull your fist forward and down for humble, Warrior, plant into both of your heels heavy. Think about driving your right hip back. Pull your belly in, tuck your chin. Now tucking your chin, it's a little bit harder to breathe, I guess. However, you can send your breath to the backside of your throat into the backside of your lungs. Use your imagination. Stay here for one more breath in. Exhale, un unravel. Reach both of your arms up, reach up, reach back. Exhale, plant both of your hands down. Step your right foot all the way back to plank. Exhale to come down halfway. Inhale into up dog. Stretch the front side of your body open. Exhale back to down dog. Nice guys, let's do the left. Inhale, slide your left foot back and up. Knee to your nose, use your belly, quietly step your left foot down to where your left thumb is. Dial your back heel down heavy on the mat. Think about squaring your hips from now. The way you set up is as important as how you stay inside of it. When you're ready, rise up strong, reach both of your arms up. Warrior one, pick your focus somewhere in the front right away, or you can even close your eyes. Use your breath to scan your body. Maybe you can activate through some parts of your body, or maybe you can release something in your body, perhaps your face, your jaw, or your neck. Negotiate, have a conversation with yourself, with your body, with your mind. Sink your hips low. Reach your arms all the way up high. Reach your arms forward, down and back. Interlace your fingers behind you. Pull your fists back and down. Open up the front side of your chest. Exhale, tuck your chin slower than you want to. Contract your belly to come all the way down. Tuck your chin. Keep your belly in so that you can round your spine even more. 
Nice. Pull your fists a little bit forward or maybe try to squeeze your palms together tightly. That's it, Charlie. You can do this. Whatever is going on, choose or practice to respond with calm breath in and out. It's okay to be wobbly. One more inhale. Let go of your hands. When you're ready, reach your arms forward and up. Reach up, reach back. Exhale, both hands down. Step your left foot back. Travel through your flow. Move it slowly. Or yeah, if you want to give yourself extra push-up, go ahead. One breath, one movement. Keep moving. Move through warrior one. And maybe they'll uh, add humble warrior. Do it on right side and left side. You can use the flow to connect the right side and left side. If you want to start from left side, no problem. Nobody told you you have to do it. It's not like it's a mandatory thing. There's so much freedom out there. There's so many options out there for you to choose. You might want to spend extra time in Humble Warrior or maybe reaching back. You have a power to give yourself what you want. And some choices you make, it might, you may not feel successful with it. No problem. Keep going. Keep moving. One breath, one movement. Everybody's breath cycle is different. Everybody's body is different and unique. So everybody's going to end up in a different time. Maybe some of you are choosing um, child's pose as your one breath, one movement, which is also a valuable choice to make. Once you're done flowing, not to rush you, you might stay in down dog, you might pedal out your feet, or maybe you find a stillness. Maybe you scan your body and clean it up. Nice. Beautiful choices. Find your breath. Deep in your breath, especially now because your heartbeat is racing up. Slow it down. Let's use the breath together. Push the all the old effort out, SH. Shh. Slow breath in, something new, something fresh. Let the fill you up, H A. Ha. Nice. From down dog, look forward, bend your knees a lot. Press into your hands. Maybe you hop forward or you can walk your feet forward. Nice hops, everybody. Forward fold. You can move around for now. That's it. Check your feet. Feet are about your hips width apart. Inhale, half lift. Reset your spine. Exhale, drop it down. Nice. Bend your knees a lot. Sit your hips low. Maybe low enough to allow your chest to drape over your knees. Keep your hips that low. Inhale, chest up, arms up, chair pose. That's it. Bring your weight into your heels so that you can slide your knees and your hips a little bit back and down. Instead of sticking the booty back like this, point your tailbone down. Hug your belly in to support the length you created in your lower spine. Lift your chest a little bit up. Rotate your pinkies in. Squeeze your arms straight. Now don't look down. We're not trying to go down just yet. Look forward or even up to where fingers are pointing. Weight into your heels. Maybe imagine sucking up some sort of energy through your feet. Bring it up to your heart and shoot that out through your fingertips. Sink your hips slow. Inhale, chest up. Listen carefully, slowly stand up. Extend a mountain pose and close your eyes. Keep reaching your fingertips all the way up. Even though maybe your mind is telling you to drop it down, maybe because it's starting to get spicy, why not staying with that spiciness? Why not taste it? Maybe you notice your heart beating so strong and maybe perhaps fast in your chest. Slow it down, full inhale. Full exhale. Bring your weight into your heels. Keep your arms reaching up high. Start to bend your knees. Sink your hips low again. Back to chair pose. 
I know your arms are getting super spicy or perhaps shaky. Now find a place where you are working. Show up for yourself the way you want to. Maybe that means you're backing off from your hips sitting low, or maybe that means squeezing your arms straight. This is your practice. This is your body we're working with. This is the mind you're working with. Practice your resilience in your mind. Press the air out, SH. Inhale, slow, stay here, H, A, ha. Come all the way down, forward, fold, great job. Let it go. Now shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Maybe do some. Nice. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, drop it down. Ha. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Step your feet back and stay. Bring two feet together to touch. Bring your left hand to the middle and reach your right arm all the way up for side plank. Now, if you want to bring your left knee down like we did at the beginning of the class, you get to do that, right? Lift your hips all the way up. Thinking about stacking your hips on top of one another, reaching your right arm all the way up high. Maybe you reach your right arm forward. Maybe you challenge your, your balance by lifting your right foot up. Stay with the wobble, stay with the shakiness, squeeze your arm straight, aid, and that's it. Bring your right foot hand down, left side. Don't decide for yourself what's gonna happen. Reach your left arm all the way up high. Maybe you try different kind of variation for this side, right? Maybe lifting your left foot up high. Maybe grabbing your toes. Nice, David, that's it, go for it. If you can, look up towards the ceiling or your sky. Stay with it, come back. Three, two, nice Polina. One, bring your left hand down, go through your flow slowly. Don't miss a single sensation. That's it. All right, let's use the breath. Press it out, SH. Inhale slow and fully. H, A, ha. Inhale, slide your right foot back and up. Exhale, step it to where your right hand or right thumb is. Dial your back heel down heavy. Set it up carefully and mindfully. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, peel open, warrior two. Send your right arm forward, left arm reaching back. Now for this one, you can take a little bit of a bigger stance. So maybe slide your feet a little bit wider apart. That's it, so that you can open your hips to the left side. Check your right knee if it's knocking in. Maybe bring your left hip slightly forward so that you can keep pointing your right knee forward to where your right toes are pointing. Point your tailbone down. Lean your left shoulder back. Mm. Maybe check your left arm. Maybe adjust something. Check your right arm. Now keep your gaze over right fingertips. Squeeze your fingers away from one another to assist your chest to open. Sink your hips a little bit lower. Flip your right palm skyward. Stay low through your hips. Reach your right hand forward and reach your right hand all the way up, 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 up. Lift your heart up and then maybe if you can, bring your right fingers a little bit back. You can rest your left hand on your left leg or maybe reaching towards the inside of your right thigh. Nice, Jenna. Maybe bring your left shoulder a little bit back. Yeah, there you go. See, you can go further. Sink your hips low, lift your heart up, reach up, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel both of our hands down. Step your right foot all the way back. Travel through your glorious flow. Move slowly and fully. There is a second side. Inhale, slide your left foot all the way up high. Exhale, step it all the way forward. Use your core strength. Drop her back heel down, maybe adjust your stance. Inhale, rise up strong, warrior one. Exhale, blossom open, warrior two. Left hand reaching forward, right hand reaching back. Perhaps taking a longer stance. Take the space, own that space. Checking with your feet, your legs, 
your hips, your belly, maybe your heart. Shoulders could be relaxed. Now, once you set it up, do less. Maybe close your eyes. Stay with it. Watch what is going on in, inside. No practice to notice without judging, without criticizing. Stay with your breath. Stay with your feelings. Sit a little bit lower. Flip your left palm skyward. Reach forward, forward, forward. Sit, stay low and reach your left arm all the way up high. Now think about lifting your heart up before you bending over to the right side. We're not trying to collapse your right side over waistband. Point your tailbone down, lift your heart up. Lean your right shoulder back. Keep reaching your left bend up, up, up and back. Nice, Chris. Bring your left, uh, right shoulder a little bit more back. Sink your hips low. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel bowls over hands down. Step back, travel through your flow. This is your, gotta be your last one breath, one movement in this class. Move through warrior one, warrior two, and reverse your warrior, peaceful warrior on both sides. Maybe start from the left side. Maybe that feels a little bit awkward, especially if you don't do that to yourself. Why not? Now, if you take yoga classes quite a lot, why not allowing yourself to close the eyes the entire time? That means you're gonna face or acknowledge some wobbliness, unstableness, but those are not the bad things. Allow yourself to wobble. Allow yourself to move super carefully and mindfully. Allow yourself to express the way you really want. Maybe use the ha <sighs> or hmm or even the flutter out of your lips <clears throat> for every exhale. Fun tips: uh, the vibration in your throat stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system to calm your entire body and your mind. Once you're done flowing, not to rush you, we're gonna meet in forward fold. So maybe you hop, float forward, or walk your feet forward. Allow yourself to hang heavy. If you wanna move around, move around, shake it out. If you wanna give yourself some stillness, I recommend bending both of your knees deeply so that you can rest your chest heavy on your thighs. Nice. Press the air out, SH. Inhale, half lift, long spine, feel it. Exhale, drop it down, HA. <sighs> Bring your feet all the way together to touch. There you go. Sink your hips low, chest up, arms up, palms together and hook at your thumbs. It's almost like chair pose, but now everything is squeezed towards the center, right? So squeeze your heels, anchor it down, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your belly in. Maybe slide your hips a little bit back and down. Now, can you seal the pinky edge side of your hands? and squeezing your elbows straight. If that means you have to bring your hands a little bit forward, that's fine with me. Sit low, reach up, maybe look up. Exhale, come all the way down. Forward, fold, let it go. Shake it up. Second set, sit low, chest up, arms up. Back to thunderbolt. Stay low, slide your hands to your heart center. Lift your heart up as you inhale. Exhale, lean your chest forward and twist to the right side. Hook your left elbow outside of her right knee, right thigh. Now press the top of her hand down heavy so that you can bring your left rib cage a little bit under and opening your chest more to the right side. Maybe think about bringing your left hip a little bit back. Look up towards the ceiling. Now, if you want, if you can always fly away or go for the bind. If you've never tried it, maybe you give it a try today. Come back to the center, hands together. Lift your chest up. Now sink your hips low again. Lift your chest up. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. 
Right elbow outside of our left knee. Now sink your hips low, lower than your heart. We want to stabilize your lower spine so that you can add more twist behind your heart. Think about spreading your collarbones apart even. Look up, maybe you fly away. Stay with the choice you've made. Commit it to the fullest. It's okay if you fall out. Hands together, come back to the center. Squeeze your legs straight, inhale to reach your arms up, reach back. Exhale, dive forward, forward, fold. Ha. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, drop it down. Ha. Plant your hands down, step back and pause. Let's do push-ups. Let's just get it out of the way. It's not my favorite thing to do, so I'm gonna do it with you guys. Lift your hips a little bit higher if you've been dropping. Press the floor away as you inhale. Exhale, come down halfway. Keep your belly strong. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, come down halfway or maybe a little bit lower. Hover. Press it up. Go a little bit lower. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one and a half, one. Press it up. Travel through your flow. Let's use the breath. Press it out, SH. Inhale, slow. HM. Hmm. One more bit of um, effort before we slow down. I hope you can join me. Inhale, slide your right foot back and up. Exhale, knee to your nose and step your right foot to where your right hand is. Plant, keep lifting your back heel. Plant into your left toe. Squeeze your left leg straight. Inhale, rise up. High crescent lunge. Now maybe you wobbled, it's okay. Bring your left hip forward, right hip slightly back. Maybe sink your hips a little bit lower, just because you can. Press your palms together, slide it down in front of your heart center. Stay low through your hips. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Now you can fly away or bind. Doing the bind or fly away doesn't mean you have to do it today, right? Every day is different. What do you need to give it to yourself? What do you want? Bring your palms together. Without dropping your hands, slowly come up. Slowly come up. Back to high lunge, there you go. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, peel open warrior two. Rotate your back heel down. You know what to do, clean it up from the base up. Widen your chest. Flip her right palm, reach forward, reach up and reach back. Reverse warrior. Now keep reaching your right hand all the way up and back. Squeeze your right leg straight. You're in reverse triangle. Plant into both of your heels heavy. Belly in, lift your heart up, look up, look back. Bring your hands to your warrior two arms. Nice. Maybe you can adjust your feet a little bit closer together if you want. Now bump your left hip back, reach your right hand forward, forward, forward. Bring your right hand down on the mat, inside or outside of your right foot, or you can rest your right hand on your right shin. It really depends on which school you've been practicing yoga with. Doesn't matter. Pick a place where you can breathe, but you're still challenging yourself without overwhelming yourself. Reach your left arm all the way up. Scoop your right hip under, belly in. Keep both sides of your rib cage long. Now reach your left arm forward. Extended triangle. Now you can stay here, but we've been building your strength for this one. Core strength, you reach your right arm up to parallel to your left arm. Use your core strength. Keep pushing your hips to the back. Belly in. Stay there. Activate your arms all the way up to your fingertips. One more inhale. Exhale, bring both of our hands down. Step your back foot a little bit closer in. Invite your right hip to go back. Left hip forward for pyramid pose. 
Now keep your left hand down, reach your right arm all the way up high for your ball to triangle. Instead of pushing your hips to the right side, assist your right hip to rotate back. Think about rotating your left rib cage a little bit closer towards your right knee. Open up your chest, press your left hand down, reach your right fingertips up, bring your right hand down. Now bend your right knee, place your right hand all the way away from your right foot. Bring your left hand to your left hip. When you're ready, shift your weight onto your right foot, kick your left foot all the way back. Use your hand to open your left hip up and stack it on top of your right hip for half moon. Now this is a balance pose. Just keep trying. You're supposed to wobble. You're supposed to go through the unstable phase. It's part of the process. Maybe you reach your left arm up. If you can, maybe you look up towards the ceiling. If you know other variation, go ahead, Kate. <laughs> Come back. Nothing serious. Put your smile on your face. Bring your left hand, left foot down. Shake it out. Inhale, half lift. Ha, ha, drop it down. Ha. Plant your hands down, step or hop back for your flow. There you go. So that was the right side. You never know what's gonna happen, happen on the left side. Different side, different experience. Press the air out, SH. Breathe in, invite some like positive energy. H-A, ha. Left side, inhale, slide your left foot up and back. Exhale, knee to your nose, quietly step your left foot down. Plant your back toes heavy. And heavy your front heel down. Inhale, rise up. High crescent lunge. Square your hips and also your shoulders to the best you can. If you can, heavy your hips. Now you control the intensity, right? Find a place where you are challenging yourself enough, but you're staying calm on the inside. You're still able to maintain a calm breath in and out. Palms together, hands to your heart center. Lift your heart up, exhale, twist slowly. Nobody's rushing you. Enter carefully, because that's going to change the way you breathe inside of it. Maybe fly away, maybe going for the vine. Keep lifting your chest up, thinking about reaching your head forward. Nice, Aki. Lift your left shoulder back. Reach up and back. Nice. Hands together. Slowly come back to the center. Use your control. Nice. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Exhale. Blossom open. Warrior two. That's it. Clean up. Catch your breath. Flip your left palm skyward. Sink low. Reach up and back. Reverse warrior. Bend your left knee a little bit deeply, Joseph. That's it. And then squeeze your left leg straight. Keep your belly in. Anchor your tailbone down. Reach up, reach back. Slowly come up. Arms about your, it's almost like your warrior two arms. Maybe adjust your stance. Push your right hip back and up. Reach your left hand forward. Bring your left hand down. Reach your right arm up for triangle. Now you don't have to try to bring your hands all the way down. It's actually probably really good if you bring your hands up your shins so that you can widen, you can lengthen your left side of your torso. Lean your left shoulder back, reach up. When you're ready, reach your left right arm forward. Extend this triangle. Plant both of your heels heavy, engage with the core, pull your left arm up, core strengthener. That's it, David, stay with it. Maybe you can lower your left shoulder a little bit, down and under, down and under, that's it. Stay with it, look up towards the ceiling, one more breath. Bring both of our hands down, step your back foot a little bit in, left it back, right it forward, plant your right hand down, reach your left arm up, 
or revolve triangle. Pull your belly in, widen your chest, breathe, create a space. You can do that for yourself. If you need to back off, you do that. If you can intensify, you do that. Whatever is going to serve you the best for this particular moment. Bring your left hand down, bend your left knee. Now bring your left hand all the way forward, maybe to the left corner of the mat. Right hand to your right hip. When you're ready, take your time. Shift your weight onto your left foot. Kick your right foot off the mat. Stack your hips on top of one another. Maybe reaching your right arm all the way up. Maybe you look up. Now, where do you need to stay? What is your practice? If your mind is getting super loud, maybe your work is to use your breath to slow it down. One more breath, smile, just have fun. Bring your right hand down, right foot down. Shake it out, shake it up, shake it up. Press the air out, S-H, inhale, half lift, drop it down, H-A, ha. Plant your hands down, step back, travel through your flow. That's it. All right, half pigeon. From down dog, reach your right foot all the way up, bend your knee. Exhale, bring your right shin forward. Think about replacing your right hand with your right knee. Bring your left hip forward, right hip back. Square your hips, both hips same distance away from the floor. Maybe you slide your hips back and down to sit a little bit lower. Lift your heart up slowly as if you're lengthening your spine. Walk your hand forward to put your half pigeon into sleep. You can rest your forehead on your two fists, maybe. If you have a block, you can grab it, put it under your face. Now close your eyes. And I, I invite you to do less fixing, less fidgeting. Stay with it. Practice stillness. Now stillness doesn't mean you're not moving at all. There's always some parts of her body moving as long as you're alive, right? Hear your heart pumping. Hear your breath. Watch what you're thinking, what you're feeling on the inside. Practice to observe you without judging. And it's okay if you, you know, if the judgment starts to creep in, notice that too. Stay with it. Maybe scan the body with your breath every once in a while. You might notice you're clenching your fist, clenching your jaw. Maybe that could be let go. Maybe uncomfortable or negative thoughts could be let go too, if you've been holding on to it. Everything is moving, just like the weather, always changing. Practice to respond with calm breath first. Let's use the breath, press it out, S-H. Shh. Slow breath in. H-A, ha. When you're ready, not to rush you, slowly. You can bring your hands underneath your shoulders to press your chest up. Now when you're ready, you can slide your right foot back to down dog and do the left side or maybe push it back to upper pushing plank to flow. When you're ready, left side, left foot reaching up, bending your knee. Bring it forward, left knee wider than your shoulder or your chest. Sit up, set it up carefully so that you won't have to fidget around inside of it. Once you put your forehead down, eyes closed, 
belly relax, even your hips relax. Surrender into this gravity, your floor, the floor got you. Maybe you are super comfortable here today. Maybe you're having, maybe your mind is getting super loud. Your inner Twitter going wild. Maybe your work, maybe your practice here now is to tell yourself to be kind or be easy or compassion, compassionate to yourself. Maybe your practice is to remind yourself you are doing the best your ability as always. And it may not feel comfortable, but you are staying with it, this uncomfortableness. It's okay to be where you are right now. You're exactly where you need to be. If there's any thoughts you want to push it out, any old habit, any old thoughts, you can push it out, push it out, S-H. Shh. Get empty, breathing something new, awareness. Let the vibrate through your HM. Hmm. Take your time to transition out from this side of half pigeon. This is your last chance to flow. You don't have to, we'll meet in down dock. You get to pedal out your feet, move around. What's new about this moment? You were in down dock for so many times, but each time we're filled with something different, right? So what's great about now? From down dog, bring your knees down on the mat, slowly, mindfully. Prep your chest up. We're gonna do a set of camel. Knees about your hips width apart. If you want to like go further back and you have a hard time doing it, you can widen your knees a little bit. Bring your hands to your lower back. See if you can slide your hands a little bit higher. Now bring your elbows all the way back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Press your hips forward, lift your heart up, drop your head back. You're in camel. Just keep sending your hips forward. Think about pulling your lower belly in so that you have no choice but to lift your heart up, to look up and back. If you can see the floor or back wall, maybe you drop your heel, uh, hands to your heels one at a time. Cup your heels, thumbs on the outside. Send your hips a little bit forward, Nina. A little bit nice. That's it. Now lift your heart up. Beautiful. Stay here. One more breath. Slowly come up with care. Lower your hips to your heels, hands to your thigh, close your eyes. You don't have to fidget, just stay with it. By now, you are probably connecting with your breath. Slow it down. Slowing down your heart, your mind. This peaceful space you're feeling, or maybe the calmness, or maybe this emotion is a result of your work. You did this. So be thankful for the work you've done. Be thankful for your, the choice you've made to show up on your mat doing this for an hour and also committing to the fullest you could have done. Press the air out, S-H. Shh. Slow and big inhale. H-A-H. Ah. You can open your eyes or keep your eyes closed and extend your legs long in front of you. Sit up tall, maybe reach your arms up, slowly fold your body forward. Hands could be on the floor. Hands could be resting on your toes. Knees could be bent. Drop your head heavy. If you want to active stretch, you can um, 
reach your chin forward, chest forward, and down. Two cycles of deep breath on your own. And when you're ready, drop her head slowly, round up, slowly, 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 slowly. Nice. Stack the vertebrae one at a time. Reach your arms forward. Maybe scoot your hips to the middle. We're going to go back. Reach forward, slowly round back. Take your time. Nice. Once the, um, your shoulders touch the floor, arms next to you, palms facing up. Feet are a little bit wide. Savasana. Now I'm gonna talk for a minute. So if you want to give yourself a knee, like hugging your knees in or giving yourself a supine butterfly or happy baby, now is the time to do so. Or maybe you don't need it. You know what to do. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing to practice yoga with Yoga to the People, this class, perhaps tonight. Um, Thank you so much for sharing your practice. Thank you for being part of this community. It really means so much and it it's, exists because of you, your presence. We are, oh, we have always been and always will be donation-based studio. Um, I understand we are not, it's not in the, we're not in an easy place to make a donation all the time. If you're in position to give Today, I will drop the link of the donation page and also the Venmo. Even if you can, please come back. Come back. Be part of this community. Tell your friends. As always, we're going to finish with a quote and the breath. You are welcome to stay here as long as you want. Compassion can help you to be present right in this moment. Compassion can release your trapped life, like trapped life energy, and blossom your life. Please press the air out. S H. Shh. Slow and full breath in to your head, all the way to your toes. H A HA. Thank you for your practice. You're welcome to stay here. It's a great place to stay and go deeper into the meditation. If you're ready, start wiggling your hands, your toes. Maybe you flip onto one side. Thank you so much, it really means a lot.